Hey everyone and welcome back to the Cupcake Gemma channel. Now you are about to watch a recipe video for the New York cookies, the red velvet version, which is something you have been asking us for ages about. Now this is just a little disclosure video to say that Gemma, Dane and I shot this a few weeks back before the whole outbreak of coronavirus. So obviously our shop is now shut, so please don't come on down because there'll be no one there and no cakes and cookies for you. Stay home and stay safe. Um, but in the meantime, we have been busy here at Crumbs and Doilies making all our cookie kits and cake kits and you guys are loving them. And we really want to share this video with you because obviously we can't share these cookies in store, so we have added them to the Cupcake Gemma website. So head over there once you've watched this video and you'll find everything you need besides a little bit of butter and some eggs, but you've got the recipe, we've got some white chocolate, some sugar mixes, the flowers, cocos, we've even got some vanilla and some red food coloring, so you don't need to worry about anything. So head over there, enjoy the video and enjoy the cookies. Hi guys, welcome to Crumbs and Doilies in Soho where we're becoming fast known for our fabulous cookies. Yeah, we all have been to New York really recently and we discovered these cookies and we just all became totally obsessed with them. Yeah, so we came back and we spent a couple of days recipe testing, loads of different recipes um, to bake these style of cookies and we came up with our first one which was milk chocolate and walnut. And then after that, Gemma quickly demanded a double chocolate version because you have to have a double chocolate version of your cookie. <laughs> <laughs> after that, I wanted something a little bit more Pizzazz. <laughs> so we went for the birthday cake cookie, which is amazing. Yeah, it's got that amazing caramelised white chocolate in it as well. And you can find links to all of these videos um, in the description box below. Yeah, and on our last video, we asked you guys which you would like to see next, and the most requested was red velvet. Which is great because I love red velvet, so that means <laughs> I'm about to eat one. <laughs> but first of all, these guys need to make them, and they're going to show you how to do it. So off you go. Cool. Come on, we'll go upstairs. <laughs> Okay, we are back in Soho with the red velvet cookie and it all starts with the butter. Yeah, so we've got 230 grams of cold diced butter that's going straight into the bowl. So that is going straight onto the mixer with our paddle attachment and we're going to beat that for just a couple of seconds just to break the butter up. Cool, so it's just broken the butter up and if you've seen some of the other videos of the cookies that we've done um, we go a little bit more in depth about kind of the mixing methods and basically as a rule you just don't want to over mix this we are just combining the ingredients yeah um, so next we're going to add our two sugars we've got soft light brown sugar and we've got caster sugar both 160 grams going straight into the mixer and then we're just going to pop this on to a medium speed just until we start seeing nuggets form with the sugar and the butter Okay, so now it's time for the chocolate, and we've gone for white chocolate chips. We tried it with dark chocolate and milk chocolate, because obviously red velvet doesn't have chocolate in it, but it does, like a red velvet cake has the kind of cream cheese icing, yeah. so we thought this kind of replicates it and it adds the kind of sweetness as well. Yeah, and we have a really nice contrast between the red dough and the white chocolate chips. Yeah, and we've got 450 grams of the chips. Yeah, going straight in. Right, so the white chocolate is just mixed through. And now we can get on with the dry ingredients. So we've got 470 grams of plain flour here, and we're going to mix our cocoa into it. So if you don't know what red velvet is, um, you probably do, but it is, um, essentially it's a vanilla cake with a hint of cocoa. So we're going to put some cocoa into our um, flour, and we've got a mixture. You can do this just with normal cocoa powder. Um, in total, we've got 25 grams. So if you don't have this exciting black cocoa, just go for 25 grams of cocoa powder. But we have recently discovered the black cocoa yeah. and it's amazing um, it's super intense you can buy it online just search for black cocoa so here we've got 15 grams of regular and 10 grams of black and we're going to pop both of those in the flour and just give it a little mix around so that we don't have to mix too much when we get it in the dough cool 
And to the flour and cocoa mixture, we're going to add one teaspoon of salt and then three teaspoons of baking powder, which is our raising agent. And the salt will just give it a really nice flavour too. Yeah, salt is important to you. Some people don't like using it, but it really does kind of pull out all your flavours. So, you know, I get it. Salt's not the best thing, but in cookies it definitely yeah, is. It definitely helps. <laughs> right, so those are all mixed in, yeah. so we can add them to the batter. So we'll just switch this on a low speed just until it starts to get to a nice sandy consistency. So that's got to a nice breadcrumb consistency and now we can prepare other ingredients which we're going to add into the mixture. Yeah, so at the moment it's just kind of dry and it doesn't look like dough at all. <laughs> um, so we're going to bind it together with our eggs and we've got two large uh, free range eggs and we're going to do one extra egg yolk. And adding that extra egg yolk will just bind the dough a little bit more together and you'll see in our chocolate recipe that we added the extra egg yolk just because the cocoa powder is a little bit drier. Yeah, and to that we're going to add a full teaspoon of vanilla extract because that's really important in the red velvet flavour. And then obviously we need some red. Yeah, <laughs> so I've just got a regular teaspoon here and I've got some red food colouring. Um, I'm using a paste food colouring just because it's a lot more concentrated than liquid and it will change the consistency of the dough if you use a liquid, so paste is best. You can get this in supermarkets as well as cake decorating shops and online as well. So once that's all mixed in, granted it doesn't look like the most delicious thing, but it is, once it's in the cookies we promise. <laughs> and it's the easiest way to mix in the red food colouring, so straight in with the eggs and on a low speed. So that's all come together as a dough, and it's kind of pulled away from the sides of the bowl, that's how you know it's ready. Yeah. So now we just need to roll them out into balls, as usual. So we've got our scales because we're going to make sure they're all nice and even and doing it the professional way. <laughs> and we're going to go for 125 gram balls. Yep. And we are wearing our snazzy gloves again. Our black gloves, which some of you used um, and made and shared on your stories. So good find. <laughs> Um, and you know, especially as this has got the red food colouring in, yeah. you probably do want to wear a pair of gloves because otherwise your hands are just going to get turned red. Yes. I can't get this out. <laughs> are you okay? I'm okay. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Good. Okay. Okay, so, and there might be a bit at the bottom that doesn't mix, so you can just scrape underneath and kind of squeeze it together. Okay. Let's see if you can do this 125 gram thing. Oh! oh. Okay, fine. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and as usual, what we don't want to do is really squish this together. We're just lightly picking it up, kind of forming a rough ball and popping it in a tin. This way they're going to be nice and chunky and they're going to fall apart. Um, if you kind of roll them too much, they're going to have like a weird... A weird kind of like smooth, domed effect, which we don't really want. We want kind of like the rip nice ripples on top. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so as usual, we're making 13 cookies, which is a baker's dozen, and someone <laughs> did recently tell me what that meant, and I've forgotten already. It means you get to eat one. Oh, yeah. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> um, and as you know, if you've seen the other ones, you'll know that these need to freeze for 90 minutes, yeah. preferably overnight. The best thing is that you can keep them in the fridge and just bake one at a uh, time. The freezers are in bake one at a time, as and when you wish. Yeah. But so, we already have some we do. already prepared in the freezer, so we're ready to bake. Yes, and again, as usual, we've got our baking tray nice and hot in the oven to make sure we get that nice crispy bottom. And we're just going to spread them out across the tray. They are going to spread a little bit, so don't put them right next to each other. But you can fit about, well, it depends how big your oven is. <laughs> we've got massive ovens here. How's that? Yeah, that looks good. And they're going to bake at 180 degrees C, that's with a fan, and we're going to bake them for 14 minutes until they're nice and kind of crispy on top.
you guys. You've done it again, haven't you? We have. <laughs> <laughs> well done. I mean, they look fantastic. Yes. They what do. Do they taste like? I don't know. Let's have a look inside. Mm -hmm. Yes. Shall I be mother? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be a mother oh, soon. Soon. Here we go. <gasps> oh, yeah. Ooh. That looks like your bit, don't you? <laughs> It's got your name written all over it. Oh, oh, oh you look like you've got the biggest bit. Again. For a change, it's not me. Ready? Yeah, ready. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Yummy. Perfect. So we cooled them down for about 15 minutes, mm -hmm. and that is perfect. Yeah. So it's still a bit warm. And the gooey. Nice and squishy. Oozy texture. Mm. <laughs> Lovely. Slightly salty. Not too yeah. much chocolate. No. Good hit of vanilla. Yeah. Well and done. the white chocolate works, hey? Because it brings a kind of sweetness. It to does. Yeah. I think it would be a shame not to have any white chocolate yeah. in here. Yeah. And it's great with the black cocoa too because mm. um, it makes a nice kind of burgundy mm. deep colour with the Oh yeah, colouring. rather than like a lurid red. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It isn't very foody. Yeah. yeah, and you know, if you can get the black cocoa, it really does add like a kind of intense kind of bitterness, which really works with yeah. this. Yummers. Delicious. Fantastic. Mm. Well done. Mm. This one's Thank you. the books. Yeah, so that's four now and always ready for more as well. Yeah. So keep giving us your suggestions because, um, I mean, we're, we're already playing with loads anyway. So I'm sure we'll come back with some more soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't decide which my favourite is. Can I? I think it's the birthday cake, but this is a close second. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Mm. Well, I suppose we'd better get these downstairs yeah. to mm -hmm. some hungry customers. But don't forget to tag us on Instagram um, because we love seeing your pictures. So many of you are making them, which is so exciting. Mm -hmm. so oh my goodness. I think this is the most made recipe yeah, collective so, of yeah. all time. Yeah, like, which is ace. And they're all coming out amazingly too. Like You, do, you guys are doing like such a great job yeah. with them. Yeah. Um, so yeah, tag us on Instagram. Use um, hashtag Cupcake Gemma and we'll put all of our Instagram um, accounts down in the description box below as well. I'll leave you to it. Okay. Yeah, we'll take those downstairs. We will take the these downstairs. See you next um, week. I'll just tidy oh. up the bits that are oh, yeah. Okay, you can finish that tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and Somehow. I'll we'll find a way. <laughs> one of us, or all of us, will be back next week with another recipe. Yeah. 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 See you then. Right, Bye. come on, cookies. Get past the bounce. <laughs> <laughs>